I'm Will Pomerantz. I'm Amanda Stiles. And I'm Nikki Jordan. Uh, and together we are the Space Prizes team here at the X Prize Foundation. We wanted to send you this little video message to wish you all happy holidays and a happy new year. As we all get to, ready to go into the gift giving and the gift re receiving season, uh, we thought it would be fun to kind of recap some of the wonderful gifts that we've been given here at the X Prize Foundation and in the Global Space Community. What are the wonderful things that got us really excited about being involved in the space industry this year? Uh, for me, the first one that jumps to mind was the successful conclusion of the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander X Prize Challenge. We gave away three prizes in that program this year, uh, a total of $1.65 million that went to Maston Space Systems and Armadillo Aerospace for their beautiful flights of their reusable, repeatable uh, launch vehicles. Uh, just a really fun program to work on, a great milestone for the space industry, a wonderful credit to both th those two companies as well as all the other teams that competed for that. Uh, ladies, anything you want to share? Uh, well, in July, we actually had the 40th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission and first steps on the moon, uh, which of course was a very important milestone in human space exploration. And along with that, we also had the launch of Moon in Google Earth, which was really cool. Um, and you can actually go and explore. Uh, we have a Google Lunar X Prize tour in there as well. Um, and then also associated with that was the world's largest moon pie that was created. Um, I don't know if they ate it or not. We certainly hope not. Yeah, we can, we can all hope for their sake. <laughs> yes. That, that tour Amanda mentioned, you can go to our website, www.googlelunarxprize.org, and download that. Uh, the software, Google Earth itself, is free software. It's a fun way to explore what our moon looks like and also get to know the Google Lunar X Prize teams along the way. Uh, Nikki? So, um, when it comes to our team, we unfortunately lost Mike Fabia, who I'm sure most of our followers were familiar with, and so we wish him good luck, but on the good side, we have acquired a brand new team member. Her name is Amanda Stiles. She's amazing. She'll be our online community manager, and uh, you're definitely going to hear a lot from her in the next upcoming year. So, welcome. Thanks, guys. And I got the gift of Will and Nikki and Roby. Hey, Roby is mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, it was an exciting year for both uh, civil and government space. Uh, on the government space side, here in the United States, we got a new NASA administrator, uh, Charlie Bolden, uh, a fresh face in the uh, ninth floor office there at NASA headquarters. We're excited to get a chance to know him a little better and to work with him. Uh, there was also a, a blue ribbon panel commissioned by the White House, the Augustine uh, Committee as it's commonly referred to, that was tasked with uh, analyzing everything NASA is going to do in the future in terms of human space flight. Uh, they delivered their analysis uh, a few months ago. And actually, as we're filming this right now, President Obama is in with Administrator Bolden uh, trying to chart out the future of NASA. So we look forward to hearing the results from that. And in other, uh, other government news, um, there was the launch of LORO and LCROSS. Uh, and LCROSS, of course, delivered the exciting news that there's water on the moon, and there's a lot of it. So that was great news for our GLSP teams. It really built on the international findings that were achieved both by NASA uh, as well as India, finding some water distributed throughout the lunar regolith early in the year. And that, in turn, is, is part of the suite of, a, uh, of, a, of really exciting and amazing data that's come down from four government-funded lunar spacecraft that have operated in the last couple of years, uh, built and flown by the United States, India, China, and Japan. And on that same note, that is really good news for our Google Lunar X Prize. Um, as a matter of fact, we have five new teams, and I'm sure they're all going to be taking advantage of all that data. We're looking forward to welcoming more of the teams in the next upcoming year. As of right now, we have 21 teams, and uh, yeah. That was it's fun. a really international group of teams, actually. Those 21 teams that Nikki mentioned. Uh, come from 11 different countries, but actually most of them are multinational. So we have team members working on the Google Lunar X Prize right now in something like 63 different countries right. uh, all around the planet. You can check out a map on our website, on our Facebook group, and other places. And, and as Nikki said, uh, registration is still open for one more year, so we think all those numbers are going to go up in the near future. Uh, in other commercial space news, SpaceX had their very first paying customer and uh, achieved successful orbit, so that's great news for SpaceX. And just uh, a few weeks ago, Virgin Galactic uh, unveiled 
Spaceship Two, the VSS Enterprise. This is the successor vehicle to Spaceship One, the vehicle that claimed our first prize, the Ansari X Prize. Just a beautiful, beautiful spacecraft, a really fun, and uh, I think we can all agree, absolutely a memorable event to unveil the spaceship. It's really a positive sign and, and a credit, not just to the teams at Virgin and Scale Composites, but actually to everyone in the industry that are working on these kind of vehicles. Uh, we think that the days when uh, we have routine and frequent uh, commercial space flight are, are in the very near future. And I have to throw in a little bit of social media news from last year, and that was the launch of our, uh, our lightweight blog called The Flight Plan. And it's a Tumblr blog, it has a lot of cool images, and you can find it at flightplan.xprize.org. There are a million other things that happened this year. It was a really exciting year in the space community. I hope that you'll help us out by listing your favorite space events of, of 2009 here in the comments of this video uh, or on our blog, Twitter, or Facebook. Uh, but before we go, I thought maybe we could all share what we're looking forward to most uh, in calendar year 2010. Well, uh, I'm going to have to say that as far as the Google and our X Prize goes, we are looking forward to recruiting plenty of new teams and um, checking out all the flights, test flights for the upcoming um, VSS Enterprise from Spaceship 2 Virgin Galactic. Um, I'm also looking forward to the new teams that we're going to get over the next year, but um, kind of from the community side, I'm really looking forward to a new website uh, that should be coming up in the next year, and then hopefully a little bit of revamping of our blog. So keep your eyes open for that. It's tough to pick just one thing. There's going to be a lot of exciting things, I think, in 2010. But if I had to settle on just one, I'd say that would be uh, adding another person to our team here at the XPRIZE Foundation. We're just getting ready to hire a manager for education, and we look forward to introducing him or her to you in the near future. Uh, this person is going to come in and really help us ramp up our education efforts. You heard a few months ago we teased an upcoming event called Moonbots. Uh, this is a competition that we're doing jointly with Google, Lego, Wired Magazine, and National Instruments. Please stay tuned for more information about that, as well as we hope a lot of new announcements uh, coming, from, coming from us and from our, our new team member uh, in the early part of 2010. So with that, we'll wish you all a happy new year and happy holidays again. Thanks, as always, for following us, following us here at the Google Winter X Prize, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again in 2010. Thanks. Yep, thank you. Thank you.